But we're going to start with our newsmaker segment and look at one of the city council races soon to be decided. Joining me is Eric Bunch, a candidate in the 4th District, which includes downtown, midtown, and the Country Club Plaza. This is an in-district race, meaning it will be decided only by voters in the 4th District. We talked with Eric's opponent on an earlier program. Eric Bunch, welcome back to Ruckus. Good to see you again. Thanks for having me, Mike. You are the co-founder of Bike Walk KC, which is what? Yeah, we're Bike Walk KC is a nonprofit, primarily focused on advocacy around walkability, bikeability. So improving sidewalks, improving accessibility, improving access to public transportation. You know, we started Bike Walk KC with the idea that that, that the big changes that the, the transformation the city really needs to really address some of the big deep inequalities, uh, public health disparities, uh, things like crime uh, are, are, are really, they need, they need long-term solutions and, and improving accessibility for everyone was one of those things that we really felt was, was, was part of that. We'll get to the issues in a moment. Uh, let's talk about you. Tell yeah. us your background. Yeah, so as you mentioned, I'm the co-founder and policy director at Bike Walk KC. I went to William Jewell College up in Liberty, Missouri. I left for a, left Kansas City for a time. Uh, lived in Columbia for a few years, Columbia, Missouri, uh, and, and then went off to Denver for a couple years, and and came back because we felt my my wife and I felt like Kansas City was a place that that where we wanted to raise kids. Midtown offers an incredible quality of life, and uh, and 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 so we decided to raise our three kids right here in Midtown and send them to public schools. I took a look at your uh, website. Yeah. And I think we're going to put this on the screen. Uh, you say, as the next fourth district council person, I promise to expand public transportation, fix our sidewalks and streets, improve public education, make housing affordable, and fight for equity and social justice. Aside from the last point, how do you expect to get all that accomplished <laughs> in? perhaps four years as one of 13 council members? Well, hopefully eight years. Uh, well, you can do this in eight <laughs> years then. But, you know, I have, a, I have a strong track record of bringing, bringing diverse voices to the table uh, to make decisions and, 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 and work on, on some of those big issues. Like, as, as an example, as my, with my work at Bike Walk KC, I advocated for uh, our $150 million out of the GEO bond a couple years ago to go to sidewalks and, and accessible curb, curb ramps. Um, felt that that was an important thing. So that's bringing people together to the table to really start solving some of these Would big challenges. Would you say but improve public education? The city yeah, council is right. not part of the school district program. Absolutely. Uh, you're right. And the city council shouldn't co-opt uh, the work of the school well, board. Then how are you going to improve public education? Well, one way is making sure that we're prioritizing investments in our community to, to support schools. So things like sidewalks, crosswalks, making sure neighborhoods are safe around those, uh, those schools. But also it's about convening uh, partners and making sure that we're having good conversations and making sure just simply that the city is a partner in the conversation. You you were endorsed by the Kansas City Star. I think the endorsement yeah. was this Thursday morning. Yeah. Uh, are you happy by that or upset by it? I'm absolutely elated over it. I think that the Kansas City Star recognizes that 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 we do need to to, to take some bold ideas and and recognizes that that yes, I'm interested in public transportation and walkability, but also they know that I have some great ideas on, on making housing affordable and, and really being a more accessible city council person. And I think that that editorial really did a good job of, of Kansas City that. Star also has endorsed Quentin Lucas for mayor. Have you endorsed either of the candidates? Uh, I haven't endorsed a, a candidate publicly, no. I, you know, I, I've worked with both of them and I consider both of them friends. And I'm excited to, uh, you know, I'm excited that we have, have two good choices. And and, and you know whichever one comes out in the end you can work is with one either. who I, I can work with just about anyone okay I'm we a have just, uh, just a, a very few <laughs> seconds left uh, very quickly what do you consider the top issue that is facing Kansas City at this point I think it's the deep inequality that we've experienced over the decades you know we, we like to say that a rising tide raises all boats but that assumes you've got a boat and so I'd like to make sure we build some more boats so building uh, building sidewalks that are accessible for those with disabilities or better sidewalks for everyone uh, transportation that's accessible for everyone is, is, is accessible for everyone, stop so. you there thank yeah, you very much uh, congratulations yeah. on your primary victory good luck thank in the you. general election thank you so much that is 4th District City Council candidate Eric Bunch. Now let's meet the panel and start a ruckus!